Arbor is home to the state's only zero waste materials recovery facility. And it's not open to the public, but behind its doors, people are hard at work sorting recycled materials with the goal of having them repurposed for their best use. Our Meredith Bruckner went to the facility on Platte Road to get a closer look. This facility is the only one of its kind in Michigan and one of just four in the country. The two-year-old zero waste materials recovery facility cost over $7 million to build and is run by nonprofit Recycle Ann Arbor. Its mission, to sort and send recycled materials to local manufacturers that will recycle the products again. CEO Brian Nukenna has been part of the recycling movement since the 1980s. He says many items find their way into the MRF that shouldn't. Plastic's probably the biggest issue. Um, just because it's plastic doesn't mean you throw it in the cart. Be careful. And when in doubt, don't put it in and wish that it could be recycled. We call that wish cycling. Don't wish cycle. When in doubt, leave it out. Trucks come in on a near constant basis. Motor operator Brian Stewart is there to start processing the materials and make sure no contaminants are present. I am the MRF extraordinaire. <laughs> so I am the loader and operator of the big machine you see behind me, which is the loader, and I'm the first line of defense. Lithium ion batteries are a primary concern. When you run over those batteries, they catch on fire. And as you can imagine, 80% of what we have is paper, so it causes it real issues. Sorter Demond Fisher works to separate non recyclable material from loads that just arrived. And I've been working for Recycling Arbor for about 20, 21, 20 years now. We have to get all the, uh, try to get all the stuff like trash and stuff before it goes on to our, re our recycling line. He says they often see propane tanks, Christmas lights, and other garbage come through the line. Yukena says zero waste facilities like this exist to enter into a discussion. Part of that is meeting with local manufacturers who commit to repurposing the material. We actually do the work of recycling, so we know intimately what those issues are. We're in it. We're in the business. We're in the industry. So we have more credibility with the manufacturers. In 2022, the MRF was able to divert nearly 13,000 tons of material from the landfill through curbside recycling. About 120 tons per day, and that equates to about 20 to 22 tons per hour of materials, so we have to keep up with it. It's like a faucet. Once you turn it on, you can't stop. With such a demanding task each day, a committed staff is critical to the MRF's operations. We're a union shop. We're not a, we don't hire temps here. We, everybody's fully benefited. For uh, some of these people in manufacturing, this is the first time they've had the opportunity to have that. Yukena says millions of dollars worth of equipment and technology cannot replace the human touch on the sorting line. Nor can it replace the human spirit. I just love coming into work every day. Who wants to sit home? <laughs> Reporting in Ann Arbor, Meredith Bruckner, CBS News, Detroit.